I wanted somewhere to put my DCC equipment that was hidden away but also easily accessible. And what I came up with was a drawer underneath the layout. As you can see here, I've got cupboards underneath my layout. I've got a whole series of cupboards all the way along. And there's a bit of a gap between the bottom of the staging yard and the cupboard itself. And I've seen a video on YouTube by an Australian guy called Digitrack's Dad. I'll put a description in the, um, or sorry, a link to his video in the description down below. And he'd come up with this um, DCC drawer where he'd had everything inside a drawer that was easily accessible. He could just put it out and everything was where he needed it to be. Um, it was easily replaceable. If anything broke or burnt out, you could easily just take it out and replace it. So I got all the components for a drawer. I cut all the wood and I've come up with this. So to start off with, I've got a Digitrax panel over here with a Digitrax DT402 throttle. So this is my main throttle I use for um, programming the locomotives and consisting and everything. Um, but this will live over here. So that's plugged in over there and it's got a holder. Very convenient over there. And if I just pull the drawer out, you'll see Everything I need is inside here. So I've got the DCC command station, which is the uh, Digitrax DCS100. That's over 20 years old, that's still going strong. The power supply and a few other components. And I'm gonna give you an overview shot now so you can see exactly what's in this drawer. But as you can see, it's easily accessible. I can pull it out whenever I need to get to it. I won't get to need to get to it very often, but it's all there. Everything I need for the main control of the layout is in here. So let me show, give you an overview, um, an overhead overview of this, and I'll explain what everything is. So here's the inside of my DCC drawer, and as you see here, um, it's all laid out quite easily. There's space to put extra components in if I need to add anything else in. But let me just show you what I've got in here. So first of all, I've got the power supply, or well, the power um, coming in from the from the main wall plug into a multi socket over here, so everything's plugged in to one place. What I've also got is remote control for the power. So I've got a remote control on the main um, plug, and I can just hit this button here, and everything fires up. I don't need to go into here to plug anything in or switch anything on. I literally just take this, press that button, everything fires up. There, the whole layout fires up. So let me go through the rest of it. So on this side, I've got the DCS100, which is the Digitrax command station. I've had this for over 20 years, still going strong. I might eventually replace this with the latest version and use this as a uh, booster, but for now that's working perfectly. This is the power supply for the, for the um, command station. Then over here, I've got a Tam Valley Depot booster, five amp booster. Now this is for the accessory bus. So this powers all the, um, uh, signal controllers that the BDL168s which are block detectors and also um, powers the point motors as well. I'm gonna have one of these for each level of the layout but this at the moment does everything which is great. This is the back of the uh, Digitrax panel. You can see this this is the um, these two leads here provide a light on the front which shows me if I've got track power so that just goes through powers a light on the front I'll show you later. And then these are the Loconet cables that go into the command station and also go off into the, into the layout itself. Then over here, I've got a local buffer USB um, interface for the computer. So this goes, uh, there's a USB cable here that runs all the way to my Raspberry Pi. This is what's running GM, JMRI. So I've got a USB connection between that and the local buffer. And then from the local buffer, I've got a USB cable that runs from there into the DCC system. So everything is controlled from the Raspberry Pi, um, which I can access remotely. Um, I've also got a, um, a monitor I can plug in if I need to, but otherwise it's all just connected via um, real VNC, which is a remote uh, desktop connection. And I can connect, control everything from here. So as you can see, everything's laid out nice and easy, easy to replace any component that fails. I can just unplug it all, take it out, put a new one in, plug it all back in again. Um, it's just nice and easy, simple to see where everything is. Um, space for expansion, I've got, uh, um, I can add a couple more power sockets over here. And as I say, I've got space to put extra components in if I do need them. If I decide I need another booster on this level, um, you know, the accessory booster, I can always add one in here, to plug it into the system. So one other thing I've included next to this drawer is a ramp meter. Now I'll show you what that is. 
it's essential to keep an eye on everything that's happening in here so I can keep an eye on the voltage and the amps um, just to make sure everything is not drawing too much power um, and also gives me an idea of when I need to add more boosters. So let me show you where that is. So here is the ramp meter and it's just underneath the helix. So this is the base of the helix over here. So I've got my ramp meter here which gives me my voltage and my amps and allows me to keep an eye on the power that's been drawn by the layout and allows me to just keep an eye on just in case any problems with, with too many amps being drawn. And then over here is the DCC drawer. You can see here's the uh, DC402. So if I take this out, I'm going to switch on the power to the layout and you'll see now the ramp meter will switch on. And there we go. You can see here, I've got voltage at the top and I've got the amps at the bottom. So that's just a great idea to see exactly what is happening. Now let me just do a close-up so you can get a better idea of it. Here's a close-up of the ramp meter. And you can see everything's switched off at the moment. So I'm going to switch the power to the layout on. And you can see it all fires up. And what it's giving at the moment, it's fluctuating between 11.6 and 11.7 volts at the top. And then 0.43 amps at the bottom. Now hopefully you can read these. I can't see on the screen whether you can see these numbers, but hopefully you can. Um, at the moment, all that's happening on the layout is you've just got some um, Metro cab cars, they've got their lights on, and a couple of locomotives with their lights on. Um, I've got two sound locomotives that are both switched off, but they've got their lights on as well. So you can see what the power has been drawn by the layout. Now I've got a 5 amp command station, and this gives a good idea of how you can keep an eye on what's happening with the amps being drawn. Um, obviously I don't want to go anywhere near the, the maximum capacity of the, of the command station. And um, at the moment I can see I'm nowhere near that, so I'm fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up one of the sound locomotives and you can just see what difference it makes. So at the moment it's on 0.42 amps, so it varies at the moment, but let me switch that on. So the locomotive is firing up. You can see at the moment it doesn't make much difference. It's not having much effect on the amps. It's just the sound decoder sort of loading up the sound files. Now I'm just going to put the speed up on the locomotive, put drive hold on, so it's not going to move, but the, um, the power is going to ramp up. And you'll see what happens to the amps. Okay, so there I'm going to turn it up. And you can see now, you can hear the amps. You can see the amps have got up to 0.52 amps. So that's with the locomotive actually running. And as soon as I turn the power down, you can see the amps go down as well. So let me switch the sound off. And shut down. So that's a great way for me to keep an eye on that. And as I showed you, this is right next to the DCC drawer. Um, underneath the layout, so again out the way, but easily accessible. Um, and it's, I can just quickly glance at it and see exactly what's happening at all times. So there you have it. Everything in one place and easy to get to. DCC drawer with all my main DCC bits in and ramp meter so I can keep an eye on the power being drawn by the layout. If you don't already subscribe, please click that subscribe button down below and click that little bell icon to be notified of all my upcoming episodes. So as always, stay safe and see you soon.